Hey everybody, Dave here from Tres Studios. And today I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do these baby greens planters, hydroponic baby greens, greens planters from start to finish. And um, any of you guys who watched previously, you've probably seen me talk about these. I've really gotten to like these. Um, I love my microgreens, but we can cut the baby greens several times. And um, with certain plants, I've done it with several plants like the mustard greens and the arugula, and I think it will work with many others. But it's basically a one quart container on the bottom and like a little sandwich container on the top. Both containers are rubber made and they fit together. Um, I, I'm going to sell a kit with a little, a little bit bigger of a setup than this on my Etsy shop. Um, but you guys, I want to show you guys how to make it yourself. Um, you know, for those of you who want to and can, you can you can make it yourself. Otherwise, if you want, you can check out my Etsy shop, and uh, I have have the uh, the microgreens planters as well as the baby greens planters, as well as the grow pipe. So, um, but you know, I I show you guys how all how to make all the stuff. Um, but I just um, I just ask that you don't try to sell it. It's just make it for yourself, because um, I'm trying to make a living. <laughs> and uh, but I I want to give it to anybody who um, you know who wants to do it for themselves, and who can do it for themselves. Um, but I try to make it um, affordable in my Etsy shop and convenient um, to have it all done for you. Um, my dog's over here eating weeds. This, I gotta show you this guy. He loves to eat microgreens. Come here, bro. Come here. You want some? Want some greens? Why well, says this is mustard greens, right? This guy loves them. I give him a bowl of a bowl of salad almost every day. I want to start a new series called Brody Eats, <laughs> where we just do little movies of this guy eating his eating his greens and his salads. He's a good boy. Anyway, let's get into the video where I show you guys um, how to make these. I'm gonna get my soldering iron. I got it warming up over there. I've got my two containers. And this one, we're gonna put the holes in the bottom so that the roots can go down and drink out of this one. Now, the thing is, when you do this, keep this container above your head when you put the holes in. Hold this above your head when you put the holes in so that the, the smoke is rising and you're not breathing it, okay? Because um, breathing plastic smoke is probably not good for you. So let's, let's get to it and we'll, uh, we'll put, burn them holes in. I'm just using regular old cheap soldering iron. And um, I'm going to change the camera around so I can show you guys that. Come on, bro. Keep it above your head. Okay guys, so I went and I washed off my clay pebbles in my container and uh, I got about an inch of clay pebbles in there, maybe a little less, and I found that's all I really need. And so I just put that in there and I'm going to fill it right up to the top of the clay pebbles. Okay guys, so I'm going to plant this up. I've got my red acre cabbage seeds here from Todd Seeds. I'll put a link below. It's one of my favorite places to get my seeds. And I'm just going to put a couple of uh, just, a, just a good pinch on there really. I got more than enough there. That's probably too much. I might maybe put some of those back. Yeah, I probably put about half of those. I'm going to put that back. If you put too many, you can always take some out, you know, pull some out. Um, that's all. Sometimes I missed it, but you really don't have to because the clay pebbles um, wick the moisture up. So they're going to um, stay stay moist. It doesn't hurt to miss it. I like to put the aluminum foil on so that you're not going to get any algae. Don't have to worry about that too much with the microgreens. But since the baby greens live a longer time, 
you will get some algae in there. So then I just uh, I wrap the bottom with the foil and I put this on. This cover goes on just until we get some uh, some babies. As soon as we see any um, little leaves, any sprouting, then I take that off. You know, make sure you have it in good light. When they get this big, you can cut them. When you cut them, you know, cut them about an inch and a half up from the bottom. That way you leave a little bit of uh, leaf there, a little bit of plant to, um, like you see that little baby leaf right there? I would cut right above that so that you're leaving a little bit of something there to photosynthesize and then they'll come back for you. So let me give you guys a little bit of a look of what's going on in here. This is not very, uh, we have a tomato there. We're not very uh, into the season yet, so I don't have a whole lot. This this place will become like a jungle. Um, but uh, I've got some little tomatoes, got some sage there. Here's a cabbage, and I'm going to show you guys a bunch of cabbages that I did. This is another one I got to plant something bigger. I got some peppers. This one you guys probably saw that I chopped in half when I pruned it. So we'll get more peppers out of it. And I have the other half still still rooting up. But that's that's a trimmed pepper where you'll get a fork there. And this one I didn't trim. And just a, I got a variety of tomatoes. I got yellow pear, beef steak, 4th of July. And the bigger ones over here I'll show you. Um, we've got some cherry tomatoes. This is my uh, kale in the grow pipe, one of the longer grow pipes. This has done good. This even got ice in it one night and uh, still survived. That's the one thing I wasn't bringing in and out of the greenhouse into my studio. But I have, up until a couple nights ago, I'd been bringing all these plants in and out of the studio, except for the cabbage and the grow pipe. Here I have a grow pipe with peas. I never did peas before in the grow pipe. I'm not thinking that they're looking great, but um, I did green beans and the green, be green beans did good. But I just gave them that string to climb up. And uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens. And here's my cabbage experiment, guys. So in this one, over here we have a red cabbage in a net cup uh, con as a conventional way of planting. And in these buckets, we just have uh, a little half inch hole with some slits across it. And I just drop the baby in there. And so I have like three of those. So then I'll come over here. And I'll show you we got a bunch of tomatoes over here. That's my solar fan. Here's a here's a pepper. Here's a big tomato. Let me see if I this is I think this is a cherry tomato. There's another cabbage with a small hole. There's a fourth of July tomato. And there's another tomato down there. I got too many tomatoes. It's only two of us. But anyway. Okay, everybody. Well, I think my camera battery's going dead. But I just want to say goodbye. Thanks for watching. And I hope you all enjoyed the, uh, the little uh, baby greens container. And I uh, hope you have good luck with it. And enjoy. Anyway, you all have a great day. And thanks for watching again. I'll put some links below to Todd Seeds for the Seeds. Um, you can check out my Etsy shop. If you like, I'll put a link down below for that, and um, I'll see you next time. Happy growing.